Hi, my name is Kate McMahon, and thank you so much for joining me today for Profile. Very excited to introduce our guest today. First, we have Jim McLaughlin, and Jim is the commanding officer of the Gosnell Division of Sea Cadets. Did I get that right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you. Very Thanks happy for to us. have you here. Thank you. Um, and would you mind uh, introducing for our audience the two cadets that uh, are here visiting with us today? Sure. We have, uh, Craig Hill from Bourne and Kimberly Resigno from Marsons Mills. Wonderful. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So do you mind, Jim, just telling us a little bit about the roles that uh, Craig and Kimberly have today in the cadets? Craig is our leading cadet for the division. He's been with us for better than five years. Um, so he's the, the top dog in the unit. Um, he's a petty officer. He's completed a lot of uh, training in, in the program since he joined. And uh, Kimberly has uh, been with us uh, going on three years. Um, she's also a petty officer in the lead cadets. The lead cadets are the 11 to 13 year olds. The sea cadets are the 13 to 18 year olds. Wonderful. So as um, the leading officer, what does that mean for your unit? What does that entail? I'm in charge of my squad leaders, so there's two different squads we have, and they're under me. Mm -hmm. And they have to carry out my orders, and I carry out the orders that are given to me by the XO, CO, or training officer of the unit. So I'm basically um, the head enlisted, you could say, or head of the um, youth, like the cadets. So I'll be the one marching them, leading PT, uh, leading classes maybe, and just giving a lot of instruction and leadership in my position that I have. That's great. That's great. And Kimberly, what about you? What do you enjoy about being a cadet? I enjoy just meeting other cadets. That's great. Yeah. Made some new friends? Yes. Do you guys take classes, I know, yes, right? Yes, we take classes. Um, I finished all of mine, and then there are other cadets that join and have to do those classes that I've already done. Uh huh. That's cool. And then I also think you all have summer camps or summer programs, perhaps is the better term. Summer training. Summer yeah. training. And Craig can talk about some of the, the ones that he's accomplished. That would be um, great. So during the summer seminars, I've, I've experienced scuba, recruit training, advanced scuba diving, and then uh, Naval Special Warfare Orientation course. Uh -huh. So that was my summer trainings. And then during the winter, I did a uh, Petty Officer Leadership Academy, which basically um, starts to instill the roots of leadership in young kids that are going to this program. That's great. Craig spent two weeks with the SEALs this summer. Wow. That must have been an experience. It sure was, down in Florida. What, what was the coolest thing that you learned when you were with the SEALs? Um, so in that program down there, it was a two-week course, and basically it tested you very mentally and physically, but more mentally. They push you very hard, and mm -hmm. you see how far you can go. And if you make it through, you make it through. We had a very good class, so I learned a lot about my limits, how to push them, and just be successful under pressure with my team. That's wonderful. Now, um, Jim, you had mentioned that there's many divisions across the country? Yes. Sea Cadet Corps was uh, chartered by Congress in 1962. Um, and right now we have about 375 units nationwide. Now, what about the one here locally servicing the Cape? We've been in continuous operation on the Cape since 1975. Um, right now we have approximately 30 cadets in the unit. Um, but they come from about a 50 mile radius. So we have cadets as far as Marshfield um, and uh, Taunton, Raynham, um, Bridgewater, and all the way out on the Cape to Bri uh, Brewster. Wow, that's quite a distance. But we talked um, beforehand that uh, you all meet at MMA. We meet at Mass Maritime Academy from uh, 10 to 3 on alternating Saturdays. But we also have a pretty busy schedule from September to June of competitions, community service, uh, marksmanship training, mm -hmm. we have a swim meet, we have competitions with other units, um, parades and ceremonies. So we have a pretty full plate from September to June. That's great, that's great. Is there something in particular that uh, you enjoy during the school year? Dr. I really enjoy flagship, oh, okay. which is where we do multiple competitions in a weekend. Oh good, that's great. Why don't you talk about the training that you went to this summer? So I went to a training out in Wisconsin. 
Um, I did a veterinary training. Um, we watched a cow give birth. Wow. Um, That's great. Yeah. Is being a veterinarian something uh, that you're interested in? Yes. Oh, cool. I like that a lot. That's a great program. How long were you out there? I was out there for a week. Nice. That's great. And I'm assuming you got to meet other cadets from across the country? Yes. Your organization, Jim, what do you need at this point in time? What are you really looking for from our community? We'd love to have more cadets. Okay. Have, we just graduated a large class of 11 cadets this year. Uh -huh. So we'd like to replace the ranks and uh, get more new cadets enrolled. That's awesome. Let's talk about how folks can learn more about the program or speak with you directly to get more information. The best thing would be to, to call me okay. um, and uh, I can speak to them or their parents directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my number is 508-759-8606. Right. Is there any kind of interview process for um, potential cadets or... How does that um, work? Well, yes, I would like to meet the new parents and the new cadets um, okay. before they join. Uh -huh. um, there is an application process. Um, they do need to have a medical exam. Mm -hmm. um, twice a year, all the cadets, uh, Craig and Kimberly too, they all complete a uh, physical fitness test. So that has to be completed twice a year. Mm -hmm. um, and um, there are courses that they have to complete for their advancements in, in the program. Mm -hmm. So um, before they join, I want to go through all of that with their parents and, and with the applicants. Right. To understand the commitments. That makes perfect sense. I want everybody to be successful. Right. Right. Um, uh, Craig, Kimberly, is there anything that I missed that you want to share right now? I guess just it's probably the greatest opportunity I've had as a teenager to join a program like this. I've met so many people from different places. I've learned so many things. But um, especially teamwork and leadership is something you learn at a young age. And I think the world needs a lot of young leaders to come up and just, just keep the world moving. <laughs> you need leaders. So. Wonderful. Jim, thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Really appreciate it. And best of luck to you two in uh, your future endeavors. Yeah, thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks thank for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Until next time, I'm Kate McMahon, and thank you for watching Profile. <laughs> <laughs>